Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be good for Leo placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you are dealing with a Leo, these messages may resonate with you as well. These are general readings, so they won't resonate with every single Leo out there watching. Also, energies can be interchangeable since this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Not every message may be your message. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, and this is a different spread so that, than I typically do. This is the spread that I use for my personal love readings. Um, and we're going to be picking up on the specific person that you are currently dealing with. Leo, the person on your mind, person you're thinking about, dealing with, um, need clarity on. We're going to be picking up on their energy today. I am open for personal readings. Don't know how long I will be, but the information will be listed below if you are interested. Leo, let's go ahead and jump in. Leo Collective, what's going on with your person for Leo? Collective energy for Leo. Sun, moon, raising Venus. What is your person thinking about when it comes to your connection? All right, so they're thinking about the deep connection that you two share, soulmate. Um, you guys definitely have very strong connection. It is mutual. Okay, uh, maybe someone here needs to release an ex or they're thinking about releasing an ex or you releasing someone so that you guys can have a conversation and they can express how they're truly feeling towards you. Um, how do they feel towards my Leo? Two cards out, playfulness and reconciliation. All right, so I'm getting two things. One, you may have an option between someone from the past and someone new, um, but you definitely have, they feel like, there's some sort of reconciliation here, some sort of new start, okay? You bring out the more playful side in this person, all right? They want to have some sort of coming back together. Could be an age difference between the two of you as well. I'm getting that, Leo. What else do we got for Leo? How do they view you, Leo? Ooh, they really do view you as a soulmate. This is someone who views you as... Like they dream about you two together. They think about you a lot. They visualize the two of you together. They're trying to manifest you, all right? What's in the challenge position here for Leo? Collective engagement. So what's challenging this connection is actually taking things to the next level. Um, there could be an ex that's in the way. Someone needs to release someone that they're dealing with in order for this to move forward. What are their intentions with you? They know you deserve love. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries, I'm getting. What's in the outcome? Ooh, your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. So overall energy is let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Someone here may struggle with that. Okay, just allowing things to be, allowing things to happen. Allowing things to play out is what I just heard. So let's see. Yeah, look at this. This person's fantasizing a lot about you, Leo. They're thinking a lot about you. Almost like an obsessive energy, but I don't get creepy vibes. I just get the fact that this person like adores you, Leo. They can't stop their mind from escaping to a world. Only you and them now. So just you and them together. All right, let's see. Leo Collective. What does Leo need to know when it comes to the person on their mind? The person that they are dealing with. What do they need to know? Leo, what do they need to know in regards to their person? What do they need to know in love? Yeah. Yep, there's an energy here of like don't force it. Just allow things to happen. It could be a message for you or your person. You do have a soulmate here. Take it slow. Take it slow. What are they thinking about besides you? <laughs> it could be um, friends with this person, right? It could be friends with this person. Um, they could be pretending that they don't have feelings for you or pretending that everything is fine with just being friends, okay? Uh, pretending like they don't want to be more than friends, but in actuality, they do. I see that here. In actuality, they do. They do want more with you. 
They do have romantic feelings. But there's an energy here of your person, like, just needing to, like, allow things to happen. Okay? I don't know. We'll clarify these cards. How do they feel? You guys definitely have, like, a very playful energy around you. Erased. Why is this here? I deleted everything that reminded me of you. See, I'm getting this X energy again. Could have worked with this person or met this person through work. Um... They try to keep themselves busy. They're trying not to think about you. But they do. Okay, but they do. Hmm. How do they view you? They view you as literally their soulmate. Elimination. They view you as maybe you're with someone else. Because you have elimination here. I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us. So either you have someone else or they have someone else. And you guys are friends. But you guys have like this deep connection. Hmm. Hmm. This is getting confusing. Let's see. What's going on? Leo. Yeah, they view you as you're the one that got away. So, hmm, this person was trying to get over you, but they can't because you're this, like, deep soulmate connection. They act like they're fine, but they're not. What's in the challenge position is taking this to the next level. Someone wanting to be single, spending time alone. Someone deciding to take a break from everyone. Yeah, just kind of withdrawing, not wanting anything serious right now. Ooh, someone could act a bit childish here. They try to trigger you or like get you heated to see if you care about them. This person has some regrets. All right, let's see. Um, in their intentions, they feel like you deserve love. Thoughts of you keep them up at night. They dream about you. Yeah, this person thinks a lot about you. In their intentions, you have online dating. So in their intentions, they're trying to move on. Um, but they can't. <laughs> they're trying to keep their options open. Yeah, they're hoping that you will call. Um, in their intentions. Yeah, there's some healing happening here. They want to heal. Trying to move on, trying to heal, but at the end of the day, they feel like you deserve better. Maybe they have regrets in the way they treated you. They're hoping that you will call them, or they're wanting to call you. What's in the outcome? Unintentional. Uh, I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. Romantic feelings and focus on yourself. Oof. <sighs> this person may have hurt you, um, Leo, is what I'm getting. That's why lack of control issues is here. Like, they may try to force themselves back into your life. Try to act like they can be friends with you or start a friendship with you. This is someone from the past, a soulmate connection. But really, they want more. They're trying to hide that from you. But really, they view you as you're the one that got away. What are they thinking about? Oh, we'll take that. Um... Yeah, they're thinking about the f it. what it would be like if you guys could overcome your challenges. What would it be like? Yeah, this person may have been stuck up in their ego. Okay, ego-driven. They have a lot of fears. They um, allowed their ego to keep them unaware of like who they really are on a soul level. All right, they wore a mask, right? They pretended to be something they're not. You're thinking about some sort of resolution. I feel like this person, if you are dealing with another person or another situation, this person's very jealous, thinking about you with someone else, okay? They want to work towards a resolution with you. But they're thinking, like, maybe I lost, lost Leo. Maybe I fucked up with love lost here. You guys may have children together. For some of you, that obviously won't be for everyone. How do they feel? They've tried to erase you. Yeah, there's some sort of detour here. Um, they feel like you guys ha went in a completely different direction than what they were planning on. <laughs> Things took a, a detour here, but it's all part of the plan. They want forgiveness. They want to apologize to you. Yeah, because they tried to erase you. They tried to forget about you, but they can't. So they feel like you're some sort of destined soulmate connection at this point. They want to offer you something, some sort of gift or romantic proposal. I feel like they're waiting to do that or waiting for the right time. You guys will have to let me know if this resonates because this is very interesting reading. 
They view you, Leo, as you are the one that got away. Why? But you guys have some sort of divine mission together. You guys um, are like a power couple is how they view you. They view you as you're putting yourself first. Yeah, they view you as, you guys, this person has a very strong attachment towards you. Um, hmm. They feel like they self-sabotage the connection. Some of you may be spiritual workers. They view you in that way. What's challenging your connection? Someone withdrew here because they got tired of someone pushing their buttons. What's challenging this connection is things getting moving to the next level. What's challenging this connection is you guys have this unexplainable connection. Like something inside both of you, you feel this strong connection. It's because it's a soulmate. You feel this strong connection. Difficult to even describe how they make you feel mutually. Um, so maybe you guys continue to come back to each other in some type of way or you, yeah, look, you guys have this 5D connection, twin flame soulmate connection here. Someone's running from the connection, chasing, you got the runner chaser. This person misses you, but they watch you from a distance. <sighs> I feel like they definitely have a mask, this person you're dealing with, okay? Um, and their intentions, they know you deserve better. Whew. And their intentions, they want to provide some sort of safe space for you. They feel safe with you. You may feel safe with them. And their intentions, yeah, look, you have runner and chaser. So it's like when you're into this person, they run from you. When they're into you, you're running from them. Um, don't try to force the connection. And, and that's the overall energy here too. It's like some of you really are dealing with a twin flame connection. And it's like instead of trying to convince this person of your worth, redirect that energy into yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of thinking about the past, haunted by the past, reliving the good, the bad memories. Um, there's a message here of like let it go if it comes back. If it's meant for you, it will come back in their intentions. So maybe they're trying to release any need to control and healing. Yeah, but they're like obsessively thinking about you and the connection. Okay, they may um, look for reinforcement in you for their own value. Could be a little bit codependent and that's what they're trying to heal from. What's in the outcome is focusing on yourself. Wow, someone here is very withdrawn, going through dark night of the soul, feeling very disconnected and empty. Okay, is what's showing up. It's like on a self journey is what I'm getting. There are feelings here, but there's definitely an energy of like, I need to focus on myself. That could be you or this person. Let's take a look. Um, on this person's mind for Leo, what is Leo's person thinking about? I'm trying to find the right words to say to you. And patience. They're going to be very patient. Um, you have that with... Uh, Hmm. Fantasizing and don't force it. Trying to find the right words to say to you. So they don't even know like how to approach this to open up to you. My family won't approve sexual chemistry and I love you. So could have to do with like family not approving in some type of way. There is love here. Or they may feel like or they're thinking about maybe your family not approving of them. Um, sexual chemistry between the two of you. There's a lot of passion. A lot of fire. Could be dealing with another fire sign. But you don't have to be. Um, how do they feel? They feel like they're getting uh, mixed messages, Leo. Some sort of mixed messages here. They feel like maybe there's no future here. They want to apologize. They want forgiveness. Some of you may have been married to this person. Um, hmm. Someone could be married here. Yeah, you could be done with another fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, they feel like you're too good for them right now. Um, they're very insecure. How do they view you? Yeah, they aren't you. Someone may have had another situation going on. It's like whoever they're with, it's like it's not the same as this connection. This connection is very fiery, whether that's you or them. Yeah, I wish I could take it all back. No one compares to you, I told you. There's a heavy energy here of like whoever is trying to move on to someone else, like it's not the same as this connection. They keep finding themselves coming back to this connection here. I mean, it makes sense, especially if it's a twin flame or, I mean, even a soulmate. Uh, what are the challenges? Is this 5D connection? There's a lack of trust, and that's resulting in someone feeling like you guys need to release the connection. Someone's running and chasing. I'm coming up with an exit strategy to be with you. 
That's in the challenge position. So taking things to the next level here. I feel like you guys may have some sort of external influence here. Another person even could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What's in the challenge position is having some sort of reconciliation. This person knows they put you through a lot of shit and you're over it. You need some time alone. That's in the challenge position. Wow. How, what are their intentions with you? You may feel you don't trust this person at all. Like you do not trust this person. Um, and their intentions, it's like, I finally, yeah, I know I messed everything up. I finally woke up to our connection. Is it too late? I know I was toxic. I know I lied to you. I know I acted crazy. Narcissist run. This person was running from your connection. Um, you may question their motives. You may feel like they have bad motives here. Okay. But they know you deserve better. In the outcome, someone here is whew, focusing on themselves. Okay, and it causes dark night of the soul. Could be very stubborn energy here. Someone's very guarded. They're like, I can't let you get too close to me again. You hurt me in the past. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone who has that in their chart. It's also an energy. Yeah, see, past life connection. Wow. Yeah, this person wants to start over. Um, it's also an energy here of like cutting someone off because you don't trust them. What else? Give me I want to tell you how I really feel that you are my person. I know this was one-sided in the past. There's a lot of sexual tension. Uh, you guys could be in a friends with benefits situation even, okay? Um, currently, all right. So let's continue, Leo. Leo. Those Leos I'm connecting with right now, I feel like you guys are definitely dealing with some sort of soul tie connection. Okay, soulmate, twin flame, you'll know. This person wants a new start. I feel like you're just not, you're not sure. Again, take it how it resonates. Yeah. There's a new opportunity. There's a, 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 an opportunity for a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles. Something solid, something stable. But I feel like there's an energy here of not trusting it. So let's see. What's on this person's mind? The High Priestess. Could be going with the Pisces. Um, they're holding back. They are holding back. Queen of Wands. You, this person's thinking about you, but you wouldn't know because they really hide that very well. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So they may have another option here. There's two queens. Um, they may have another option here that maybe you don't know about, that they're hiding, something like that, or intuitively you know this. Vice versa, take it how it resonates. But this person's thinking about... Maybe two different people, okay? Um, fantasizing about you. Maybe they left for another person or they're in a relationship with somebody else and they're fantasizing about you. How do they feel towards you? Leo, how do they feel towards Leo? Wow, look at this. I'm telling you, this is that twin flame energy. King and queen of wands. Look at that. Look at that fire. They feel very passionate towards you. Very, very passionate towards you. Um, they want to take action. They feel a strong attraction. Ten of Wands. This is a burden for them. Justice. Someone could be married. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, two of Wands in reverse. Someone here made a, made a decision. Hmm. To try to do what's fair. To try to do what's fair here. Maybe what was fair is being in a commitment with someone else or, or in another situation. Especially if you're dealing with a third party. How do they view you? Knight of Swords and the Fool. Rushing in. Three of Cups. Uh, eight of Cups in reverse. See, this person views you. Sorry for moving the camera. This card fell in a very awkward 
<laughs> position. Eight of Cups in reverse. This person views you as like they're unable to walk away from you. This person is unable to walk away from you. Interesting. They tried. I just feel like they're not able to. Or you're not able to move on from them because this is how they view you. See, but no one compares to you and they aren't you. So that's how they're viewing you is like, it doesn't matter who they're with or other options. I mean, obviously it matters, but um, no one compares to you. This person is not you. Whoever this third party is, the connection is not even close to the same. So in the challenge position, you guys have this unexplainable connection, the sun, these of pentacles, having this What's in your challenge position is being able to ascend this connection, is being able to take this to the next level. Having something stable, having something solid. Could be someone with another Leo, but you don't have to be. Um, intentions. The lovers. Fucking more twin flame energy. Someone here wants to make a decision to be single. Yeah, here's that. Yeah, to go to. Yeah, this is a destined connection, you guys. There's a strong attachment here. Um, could be done with the Capricorn, Sagittarius. But someone here in their intentions, they want to make a decision to be single, to offer something, to reach back out or to communicate, to move things forward in this connection. But in the outcome, someone's focusing on themselves. Four pentacles holding back someone's getting rejected the hanged man i wanted to come out in reverse releasing could be going with the pisces knight of cups yeah someone's coming with an offer in the outcome someone's coming with an offer but they may get rejected four pentacles someone here is holding back could be your energy holding back from this person vice versa take it how it resonates but that's what i'm seeing here what else do we got for leo What we got for Leo? I want to come in and support all your all of your endeavors. I want to get to know you better before I make a final decision. Hmm. Don't make things worse. Listen to what I have to say. Everything is not so black and white. Interesting. So this is what I have for you, Leo. I hope this resonated and brought clarity to your situation. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe if it did resonate. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.